This is a breakdown of all the visual storytelling techniques and imagery used to show how a single cinematic trailer alone proved that Arthas, the Lich King, was the most dominant king in history. In the opening shot of the trailer, the three ice formations surrounding him are curving towards the Lich King, almost as an act of bowing. They are drawn to him in a figurative bow and respect. These inanimate objects portray a submissive architecture around him. If they were facing away from him, the unconscious message is that he causes them to flee or that his power is to be feared. But this is not the point of the imagery. The King is being portrayed as the subjugator, the boss. Although he is definitely warranting fear, the message that this whole trailer is aimed at emphasizing is his dominance. When you claim or want to claim land, the stomping of the foot symbolizes solidarity or affirmation, your right to own it. In this shot, the camera takes a worm's eye view right on the ground looking outwards towards a vast open stretch of land almost begging to be claimed. The comparison of the size of the boot coming down to claim the land and denotes the size of an ambition. It's a shot where if it was from any other angle, it would not communicate the same thing. If this was shot from any other angle, it would look like he's simply walking or it simplifies his ambitions. When someone is on the edge, it usually means they are close to a mental breakdown or insanity. Showing his path leading towards a sharp cliff going down into the dark signifies how he is going through a path of self-destruction or loss of self. The bottom of this cliff is not shown deliberately to make the audience wary of this path or to strike a fear of falling into an abyss and a metaphor for hell. This cliff actually plays another part in the cinematic later on. If you can easily see what is over a cliff and down below, it doesn't appear as scary. Sure, there are other ways to light it differently or to make the characters themselves react to it differently, but the fear of the unknown has a great impact on your audience's interpretation. This scene from The Lion King is an example of how to make cliffs and large areas look hopeful. In fact, Lion King uses extremely high and low places quite often in their visual storytelling. Here, the Lich King is about to do something, but wants to make sure this is the right place. This is a rare moment where he willingly lowers himself to the ground as he has a brief moment to think about what he's going to do. It's a moment that shows contemplation, trying to confirm if he should proceed or stop. It's a moment of reflection. We never really know what is going on in his mind, but the fact is that he is stopping to think and be sure of his next move, because after he does it, there is no turning back. The subtle uncovering of snow also has subtle imagery of reflecting on things that were. Uncovering snow that shows weathering over time and aging, like he wants to see what was there before, a hint at perhaps reflecting on his past. Now there is so much going on in this iconic moment. As he rises, he lifts his head facing forward, signifying he has reached a conclusion and confirms that it will be done. If he didn't raise his head like that and kept looking down as he rose, it would show him in a state of unease and remorse, as if the thoughts still weigh heavily upon his mind. Instead, he lifts his head, stands tall, and proceeds to draw his sword. Even the slow speed at which he does this shows how he does not do this out of rage, but pure intent to subjugate, to rule. In one final lowered breath, he drops his sword, emphasizing its weight, and therefore the weight of his decision and convictions. His legendary stance as he extends his sword says everything. Submit. I can't help but think back to this scene from The Princess Bride. Wesley shows complete control over the situation in this one gesture. Without needing violence, he just commands. Drop your sword. But notice how this is neither a pulling gesture nor a pushing gesture. It's just a point. A pulling gesture is selfish, it's greedy, it's wanting. A push is defensive or oppressive, violent, reckless, and often has too much force. But this is simply an order. The Lich King does not need to push or to pull. He simply commands. He is not showing any signs of offense or defense. It's a demand for obedience. 
You could say that the swirling effects are just due to his power surging and having an effect on the environment, but it is doing so in a way that acknowledges his authority. The elements are drawn to him, they encircle him, they surround him. It's an obedient gesture. He demands obedience, and the world itself responds. The force of his jab into the ice clears the way, the snow flees and retreats, respecting his position and his stance. The camera takes an epic position where it looks up to the king from a much lower angle as if the camera itself were kneeling before him. It even shows a large empty space behind the Lich King that creates a sense of expectation. The way this is framed predicts that something will appear there. The fearsome frostworm that he summons rises behind him and further contributes to his power and authority. The Lich King doesn't move at all. He doesn't look back and continues to look forward. He expects the frostworm and its obedience. He fears nothing. He is the absolute authority and the absolute power in that position. The cliff from earlier that looked like a descent into madness is now a figurative throne, a high position over his undead subjects. The frostworm screeches and the army responds. They respond to the call, all in unison, all in agreement, all obedient. The camera looks over the king's shoulder down upon his army and slowly orbits around him to a very low position of visual kneeling again and positions the Lich King in his rightful place on high, higher than any angle taken throughout the whole trailer. Now here is a terrifying ending. The close-up of his eyes is terrifying for a very simple reason. He looks at his army, please. All this demonstration of absolute power and authority over the land and his infinite subjects without speaking a word. He looks up again to the horizon now. A simple yet terrifying exclamation that he now aims for the rest of it all. The world is next. Even without a sound, the visual storytelling in this trailer concludes that Arthas the Lich King is the single greatest ruler in history.